Okay, so uh, I'm representing my dad's collection. It's called the Severson's Collection. He collected for many years. He collected porcelain, bronze, rhino horns, and jade. Take a look here. This is a double crackle. You can see the golden lines over the gray lines. This is from the Song Dynasty. We have different ones here. With, with, some of these have a signature on them. These are very, very beautiful, handcrafted from the Song Dynasty bowls. Here's a couple other ones. There's the foot. Then we got some Ming Dynasty. These are vases from the Ming Dynasty. I mean, uh, not the Ming, from the Qing. The Qing Dynasty. Here is one that might have agate into the glaze. I can see if you look under a mi 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 microscope, you can see uh, agate on the glaze. Here, here are some white dingware. Might be from the Tang Dynasty. This is a chicken head. It's very dirty because when we found these, they were all rusty like this one. This is rust actual rust like from steel and that's because they were in a tomb for a thousand years with steel if you come on over here this is um saladon ware from the sung dynasty here are three vases right here from the tang dynasty it's very old porcelain right here very very old porcelain because it's so old we don't know for sure what this one is but it looks like it's from the Song Dynasty. This is a very rare teapot, and it's shaped in a Shang Dynasty bell. This is the motive from the Shang Dynasty with the, the bumps of the bell. And on the bottom is a hole. This was buried under water, but that hole has a tube, and this is what they call a reverse teapot. You pour the tea in there, and then you turn it over real fast, and then you pour it. This lid does not come off. This is you wear. Okay, now if we go, if you just swipe this way, we're going to go over here and look at the famous you, uh, you, um, Ru wear, are you wear. This is um, the famous you wear with the five um, mm -hmm. sesame seed uh, things that they, they, they used to keep it off the ground when they put it, fired it in the kiln. These have four or five sesame seeds uh, spurs, spur marks. Now this one has kind of a lotus flower and these four are kind of a bluish teal color now these two were very old they had rust in them but we had them cleaned still has a rust spot there and uh, they're gorgeous but the spur marks rue ware was a imperial ware that only it was the kiln was designed and made only for the emperor and and the royal family uh, these were not sold to the public. And then over here, this is what they call as Junware. This is gorgeous Junware with the red, and it shines up really nice, but very old porcelain down on the bottom. These all are crack, cracked porcelain for being so old, but gorgeously designed. There's four or five or six of these, and there's a couple bowls you wear. Uh, not you, you wear a Junware. These are very old Junware bowls. Here's another bowl. With a different kind of a leg and here is a very old Junware teapot now this has a signature on the bottom very finely done porcelain and this if you look under a microscope this is very pitted very old pitted porcelain all in this area but still in pretty good shape um, and then as you can see the rest of our collection here we have bronzes we have the Ming Dynasty hold on we have the famous there's only one of these we call this the Peking man it looks like a monster with a baby and it has the famous elephant uh, bird foot and the famous motif motif from the Shang Dynasty the eyes and uh, and the eyebrows and so on and this head does come off this was like a wine vessel to hold and store wine and uh, made out of bronze and so many other ones. Uh, if you can check our other videos, um, if you check our other videos, we have other ones on the Shang Dynasty bronzes. We have a, a take a quick look at the at the rhino horns. We have many rhino horns. We have even more than this. We have some four other large ones like this. This is 15 inches, seven pounds. This is a solid rhino horn, and you can see the curvature right here. This is four or five inches wide. This is one of the biggest ones ever. 
and here is a another rhino horn uh, it's grapes and squirrels it's kind of a reddish orange color you can see that in the sunshine and it's marked and we have 12 or 13 14 15 of these rhino horns right here thank you for watching and uh, come to uh, www.inewsnews.com and you'll see the Chinese page that we have that shows and describes these a little bit more. Thank you for watching this. Remember, this is the Severson's collection. Thank you.